Good day. Welcome to another section of A Accounting Tutorials. We are continuing our series on departmental accounts, but in this video, we will be focusing on interdepartmental transfers. Okay, that is how we make an accounting treatment or an accounting arrangement of an interdepartmental transfers. Okay, before we proceed, I will encourage you to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so that any moment I upload any new video, you'll get notified on your devices. Thank you. So with the concept of interdepartmental transfers, we will actually categorize it in three different ways, okay? That is one, transfers of goods, two, transfers of general expenses, and three, transfers of performance of service. So these three categories, we'll be looking at its accounting treatment, okay? So the first one is transfers of goods. Okay. When we talk of transfers of goods, it is where goods are sent from one department to the other. Is that okay? And this can be done in two different ways. Okay. The goods can be sent to another department either at a cost price or a selling price. So it can be done at cost price cost price and B at selling price selling price good so we'll be looking at its accounting arrangement okay so anytime there is a transfer of goods at a cost price its accounting treatment is that you add the cost of goods transferred to the cost of goods available for sale of the receiving department, okay, then we list the cost of goods transferred from the cost of goods available for sale of the given department, okay. So basically, that is its accounting treatment. So let me use the two departments to show how it works, okay. So let's say this is a given department, a given department, and we have receiving department. Good. So this department A and this department B. So as I said earlier on, when goods are transferred at cost price, the accounting treatment is that that is cost price. Cost price. We add the cost of goods transferred to the cost of goods available for sale of the receiving department. Then we less the cost of goods available for sale of the given department. Okay, so that is its accounting treatment. And when goods are transferred at selling price, okay, its accounting treatment is that we will debit the trading account of the receiving department and credit the given department okay the trading account of the given department so we debit the trading account okay of the receiving department then we credit the trading account of the given department okay that is at selling price at selling price good the debiting here means we are adding up, okay, to the receiving department and the credit here means we are subtracting or we are lessening from the giving department, okay? So that is the dynamics. But note, when goods are transferred at selling price, at the end of the financial year, the unrealized profit on the unsold goods should be debited to the giving department, okay? So let me try to explain this concept to you. For instance, when department A transferred goods to department B at an amount of maybe $6,000, okay? That is cost plus profit. Cost plus 20% maybe profit. So this means that the goods is being transferred to department B at a selling price of six thousand dollars so let's assume that department b 
wasn't able to sell this product so this is unsold goods okay because it is being transferred at a selling price it means there is a profit component in it okay so when department b or the receiving department wasn't able to sell out such products the portion of the unrealized profit on these goods should be debited back to the given department okay so if 20 percent plus cost that is 20 percent 20 over 100 is the same as one fifth on cost that is markup that is markup and this is selling price so we use margin okay we use margin so that is one out of six okay it means we'll be adding the numerator to the denominator okay then we maintain the numerator is that clear so one sif of six thousand dollars is gonna give us six sorry gonna give us one thousand dollars as the profit component on this goose okay and what we are saying is that because department b wasn't able to sell this product this is unsold goods and there is unrealized profits on it this unrealized profit is the one thousand and this one thousand should be debited or should be less from the trading account of the given department okay so we, we debit it with an amount of what thousand that is the unrealized profit component okay we are doing this because the unsold goods transferred to department b will be shown at cost in the final statement of financial position so if this is the selling price the selling price is six thousand dollars and we had one thousand dollars being the profit margin then the cost will be five thousand dollars and this five thousand will be shown as stock in the final statement of financial position okay so anytime there is an unrealized profit on an unsold goods okay it should be debited back to the given department that is the analysis okay so let's proceed to the next one the next item i would like to talk about is transfers of general expenses okay so two transfers of general expenses this transfers of general expenses it is where an expenses has been incurred by one department for the other okay when this happened we will debit the profit and loss account of the receiving department with the cost of expenses incurred okay then we credit the profit and loss account of the giving department with the cost of expenses incurred okay so this means that we will debit the the profit the pnl okay of the receiving departments then we credit the pnl that is the income statement of the given department okay this means that because the expenses has been incurred by one department for the other what we are going to do is that it means we have to increase the expenses of the receiving department and decrease the expenses of the giving department with the cost of the expenses incurred for instance the expenses supposed to be incurred by department b that is receiving department and because they are in the same they are under the same roof department a has occurred that expenses for department b when this happened its accounting treatment is that you subtract the, the expenses incurred from the total expenses from the given department then we add it back to the receiving department okay that is the meaning okay so let's look at the final one okay that is transfer transfers of performance performance of services performance of services performance of service is where a service has been performed by one department for the benefit of the other okay a neat accounting treatment is that you would debit the profit and loss account of the receiving department then we credit the profit and loss account 
of the given department or the department that rendered the service with the cost of the services rendered okay so we debit the PL, okay that's the profit and loss of the receiving department and credit the profit and loss of the given department for instance a service that's supposed to be rendered by department b has been rendered by department a and the amount being let's say two thousand dollars so when we want to make the accounting treatment you'll be debiting or we'll be adding up to the expenses of the receiving department and then we subtract or we less this two thousand from the given department okay because this is the cost of services rendered okay so basically this is the accounting treatment on accounting arrangement for um, interdepartmental transfers okay so in our next video we'll be taking a full question on this topic that comprises with an interdepartmental transfers and we try to solve together to enhance our understanding on this topic but don't forget to also subscribe to this channel comment and share this video for others to also enjoy and turn on the notification bell as well okay until we meet i think bye for now